Hey everyone, we have already discussed the event handlers, but we are left with the Tinker events. Let's discuss a few of them in brief. So first up, we have the button event. When a mouse button is pressed with the mouse pointer over the widget, we make use of this event. Then we have three parts of mouse, the middle, the right and left. So accordingly, we have button one, button two and button three. Okay. Then we have motion. We would be working with this motion event as an example. We would see an example related to this event. So we have B1 motion, B2 motion and B3 motion for the current position of XY members. And uh, then we can have button release. We can have double button. We also have enter. So enter is for telling that the mouse pointer has entered the widget. We also have leave as a complementary to enter. So this leave event would be used when the mouse pointer leaves the widget. Okay. And then we have focus in and focus out. So focus in is to focus on a widget and focus out is to move to other widget, uh, move the focus to other widget. Okay. Then we have return, we have key, we have shift up and we have configure. So these were the tinker events. While understanding these event handlers, we used the event key and uh, this time we would use the motion event. So let's write a program for it. So let me tell you what I'd be doing. So I would write a program for getting the current position of mouse on a widget, only on a widget. Okay, so let's do that. So I'll write from Tinkter import star. Then I'll have my window. I'll write win equals tk. Then I'll give in a title. I'll write win dot title brackets and let the title be event handling. Let the widget be canvas. Okay, so I'll have c equals canvas and. Where do I want the canvas? I want it on the window. So I'll write win comma background color equals pink. And width, let it be 500. And height, let it be 400. Okay, and uh, now I'll use the bind function. We discussed the bind function last time. So bind is to call the specified function whenever the specified event takes place. Now I would specify two arguments. One would be the event and one would be the function. So I need to make that function too. But before that, I'll write C dot bind. And now let's define the function. I'll also name the function as motion. So I'll write def motion and I'll give in the argument event. We did this last time too because I want to check the event if the event has occurred and uh, the related things to the event. Okay, so I just want to check the current position of the cursor on the widget. So I want to print that. So I'll write print brackets f current position of cursor is in curly braces event dot x comma event dot y and I'll put this in a bracket so that would get me the current position of the cursor and about this f format this is a very basic way of getting values of variables within a string in python so I hope you know about that and then I'll just simply write return in the function. Okay. So I can get back to the main part and I'll give in the arguments. I'll write within single inverted commas, I'll write motion. And I'll also give in the function to be motion. Okay. That I just defined. Fine. Now I'll pack this, I'll write c.pack 
and I'll run the main loop. Okay. So let's run this and let's see if we get the mouse coordinates. So I have this pink screen and whenever I move the cursor over it, I get the positions of the cursor constantly and whenever it stops the output has stopped but if I increase this screen and you can see that outside this widget there is no such output seen but on this widget I can get the current position of the cursor. So that's it about the event handling. So we have covered a lot of Tinkter and the more you practice, the more you get the concept clear. So in the next video, we would be seeing some application of Tinkter would help you implement all that you have learned. Thank you.